Hey everyone, this is Jaime Hernandez with Roosters Comics. Wanted to wish everyone a happy belated happy Thanksgiving. And I'm coming to you today with my weekly pull list. I've got three books here I'd love to share with you. Two of them are ongoing reads and one was an issue one this week that I always like to pick up issue ones of a new series, either independent or from the big two, to just to see if, if it catches my interest in. This one, I'm not too sure about, but I'll probably give it one more issue and, and actually see if it gets on the pool. But the first book today is The Department of Truth, number 22, by James Tinian. Uh, once again, I think I've stopped reading this around issue 18. Um, it's not that it got a little stale, it's just uh, I was catching up with other reads and I still haven't fin caught, finished up with this one. Um, I'm prob I, I'll probably wait till about issue 24, 25, because I like to usually get when I'm behind on a book about six or seven issues just so I can just bust through them and, and get a bunch of story in at one time. But needless to say, I still love the book. Um, as for spec potential, just real quick, I mean, apparently this book, the series has been optioned. We'll see where it goes, but needless to say, Tini knows how to write some good stories. The second book of today was the new series book, and it's called Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. And I just finished reading this, and this is the foil variant. Um, I don't know if they had any issue one, issue cover A's. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, I don't know if they had any cover A's available still, so I'll probably go back to my LCS just to pick one up just in case. But what happens at this in this book uh, is basically it's the end of the world. I guess global warming happened and all the glaciers melted. And now, like, radioactivity and everything is just polluted every, everywhere. And you're following these two characters, this chick named Ev um, Esmeralda and this kid named Maceo. They meet in this abandoned building, and Maceo never left the building his entire life, not even when the earth world was good. I guess he was a homebody for the most part. And e Evelyn is one of those, I guess, a street smart person. And this issue is basically a prelude issue. So basically... It's, talks about how they met and you know when they first met each other Evelyn was not a fan of Maceo but Maceo was like you know what I finally met somebody I'm gonna go run out into the end of the go run out and see how the world is the last issue um, I guess is like maybe 10 15 years later and you see our boy Maceo tied up with some freaking creepy infested humans about to eat him if they don't um, tell if he doesn't tell her where Evelyn is so the last page actually caught me and hooked me a little and I may have to give issue two a, a read. And the final one today, and oh, wow, these are all indie books today too. There was no Marvel, no DC in my pull list, I guess Thanksgiving weekend, was uh, Vanish issue three. Um, I just read this. This one is uh, basically leaving off right where issue two left off where Oliver is trying to hunt the, the Vanish... Uh, the Vanish, I guess, is the, the group of bad guys that destroyed his land. He ends up catching two of them that are twins. One's a speedster, and one has the ability to, I guess, like, make thin, I guess, conjure razor blades up in his mind. So, basically, he can put a thin razor blade. You wouldn't even see it like a little string, and it can just cut you in half. Um, he basically ends up killing them, absorbing their powers, and I guess that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to kill everyone from their, from this group and absorb all their powers. And he killed them in the last, and then I guess right at the very end of the issue, there was this one other monster that came out, which was really big, and he seems really excited to try to kill this one. Uh, so far, so good. I like the read, and I can't wait to see where that one goes. And that's it, guys. That's my pull list. Uh, please keep an eye out for my Specs of the Week video out tomorrow. And please, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I want to thank everyone who's watched and who subscribed so far. Also, um, please don't forget to check out the eBay store. I got those new slabs that we just posted from last um, last week's box opening. Please don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram and give me, a, give me a like on the Facebook page at Roosters Comics. Uh, Jaime Hernandez, Roosters Comics, signing off, guys. Have a great night and safe weekend.